Hey folks, this is Jake Davidson on the Fly Review for you. And today I'm talking about the Paw Patrol movie, or Paw Patrol the movie. At least last month, I believe. This, of course, is the continuation of the um, uh, very popular kids' adventure show on Nickelodeon for very small kids. <laughs> if you have kids, I'm sure you've been forced to watch it before. Lord knows I have. Uh, the whole setup here, uh, this movie does have new voice actors, guest vo guest star voices, in, in addition to uh, the returning TV cast. Um, uh, has, you know, Kim Kardashian, Jimmy Kimmel, Dat Shepard, maybe someone else, a few other people. Uh, the whole setup here is basically the Paw Patrol move to the big city, go from Adventure Bay to Adventure City, uh, where the mayor, um, Humdinger, is causing uh, more and more problems on a more and more disastrous scale. Basically all just to make the excuse to have the Paw Patrol do big superhero set pieces now. Um, uh, and of course the main character Chase is about him uh, overcoming his own insecurities, about not being a good enough leader, not being good enough for the big city, and his own anxieties and fears of being in the big city after being a stray as a child, as an even smaller puppy apparently. And there's also a big city pup, uh, Dachshund, named Lily, whose aspirations of being a Paw Patrol member herself, which if you know any story ever, you know where that's going to go. Um, overall, your kids are definitely going to enjoy this, and I thought it was a lot better than I, it was uh, than it would have been. I like the kind of inside winks at um, uh, cliche superhero movies do. I appreciate the better budget, nice animation. The action scenes were fun, and the story was driven by the characters. And there was plenty of action into it. It actually had kind of a uh, satisfying ending, too. Overall, I say, uh, hell yeah, I'm going to have to give the Paw Patrol movie uh, four stars. Definitely a, a movie worth watching with your family, especially what tracks in is under 90 minutes long. Definitely worth your time in a fun film. Check it out with your kids. Don't watch it by yourself as an adult because that would just be weird, even if you have weed. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.